Hi, my name is Claire Primo, and I'm a certified animal massage therapist and a holistic veterinary nurse. And today I'm going to show you three simple techniques that you can use at home for massaging your dog. Ideally, when you're first starting massage on your dog at home, you would like for them to be laying down comfortable somewhere where they feel the most comfortable at home, whether that's on their dog bed or just on the floor. Now you can massage them while they're sitting up and standing, but ideally they would be laying down on their side. So when I am massaging the neck, shoulders, and the hip, lower back area, I first start with long, gentle strokes where I'm assessing the animal for heat, coolness, and their reaction. And I'm also spending that time gathering connection, getting back to my breath, and really coming up with my intention. At that point, on the neck area, I would do making biscuits, what I call it. <laughs> so just like you're making bread, right? You would make biscuits all along the juicy spots of the neck and they really love it and they will just really get super into it. If you find any areas of tension or tightness, you can definitely kind of hone in and do little circle techniques along the neck. Always close every area of the body with those long gentle strokes again. So I might do a little more of that as I'm working my way back to the shoulders. I really take that technique to each part of the body. So I do the long gentle strokes and then I might continue to make my biscuits, to squeeze that muscle, just really, you know, just kind of <laughs> Juicy squeezes. So yeah, all along the shoulder. And if you're worried that you don't know, anatomically speaking, where something is, just look at yourself. Because really our dogs and cats are very much like us on all fours. So if you're wondering where that shoulder is, just look at yourself. Where those shoulder muscles might be, just look at yourself and do nice gentle squeezes all along. Now, if you were to go down the limb of an animal, I would recommend just kind of gliding right back up. And the idea is that we're bringing that blood flow back to the core of the body. And then when we're working on the lower back and the hip area, again, I would avoid the spine. So two inches away from the spine is ideal. And you can really continue to make those biscuits, but I would say just go smaller and more direct around the, the point of hips. Always close with the long strokes on each section. You can actually do those long strokes all across the body. And I would go from the head all the way down to the tail. You can even go down off each limb as well. But again, I would recommend coming back up if at all possible. Uh, and the other thing I would mention is if there isn't a limb or there isn't a tail, I still recommend gliding off as if there was. I always thank my animal at the end of the massages. And I thank them for trusting me as well. And so by doing that, I feel like I'm, I'm really communicating to the animal and they're, they're gathering that, uh, that I'm really taking in the trust that they've, they've put in me, in my hands. 